Hi, my name's Tilly. I'm here to tell you about what happens when you have a mock MRI. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. MRI uses a special camera to take pictures of the inside of your body. And mock means practice. So a mock MRI is a practice session that helps you to understand what happens when you have your actual MRI. I went to the Warren Children's Hospital for my mock MRI. I waited, then Carly, a child life therapist, came to say hello. Tilly. Hi Tilly, my name's Carly. How are you today? Good. Then we went to the mock MRI room. Carly told me that my main job are to stay still and watch a movie. Staying still is important so the pictures will be clear. She showed me a wooden model of the MRI and explained that I will lie down on the bed, wear headphones to hear the TV, wear a movie helmet to see the TV and move into the camera. The MRI makes clangy, bangy sounds when it takes pictures. Carly played these sounds for me to hear. Hmm, what does this one sound like? Phone. A phone, yeah. A bit of a loud phone. So they are the sounds the camera makes when it's doing its job. And what have you got on your ears to block out the sound? Headphones. Headphones, that's right. Time to practice. So this is the camera. This is the one we're going to practice on today. How cool is this? I chose a movie, put the headphones on and lay down on the bed. Carly moved the bed up. It was super fun. She put squishy pillows next to my ears and put the movie helmet over my head so I could see the TV. Time to practice inside the camera. Mum stood next to me. I practiced lying still and watching the movie for about 10 minutes. I also practiced with the clangy bangy sound. such a wonderful job at staying still and watching the movie. Your practice is finished. Carly helped me move out of the tunnel and get off the bed. I stayed still and felt comfortable during the mock MRI. Tilly, you did such a wonderful job with your practice. That means you can have your real pictures today. Well done. It's okay if your body moves too much or if you don't feel comfortable during the mock MRI. Some children might not be ready for the actual MRI and that's okay too. Carly showed me pictures of what happened next. Then we waited in the waiting room for the real MRI. I hope you've learned lots about what happens when you have a mock MRI. Bye.